your viewers, today we are going to discuss pump performance curves, head versus flow, run out condition, shut off condition, power versus flow, brake horsepower and useful power, water power, efficiency versus flow, vapor pressure, levitation, NPSH versus NPSHR. The pump discharge flow is inversely proportional to the head at which water is being lifted. Shut off is the condition when pump discharge is zero. This condition reached when the pump discharge valve is closed. Run out is the condition when maximum flow is drawn from a pump. This condition is reached when pump discharge and pump suction pipe are at same level. The pump BHP is directly proportional to the flow of the pump. The BHP, brake horsepower is the input power drawn by the pump and can be mathematically calculated by the formula given. Where V equals voltage, I equals current, P, F equals power factor, T equals torque, omega equals angular velocity. Pump useful power or water power is the output power that transferred to the water after some mechanical losses and water is lifted and flow through this power. Mathematically calculated as below. Where W equals specific weight. Weight of the liquid flowing to weight of the water and has no unit. Q equals discharged flow. H equals discharged head. It starts when discharge flow increased efficiency of the pump increases till a point called best efficiency point. After that point the efficiency gradually decreases. Efficiency of the pump can be calculated as below. At run up condition as pump does not lift water physically the efficiency of the pump will be zero because H equals zero. At shut-off condition as pump does not deliver water physically the efficiency of the pump will be zero because Q equals zero. <coughs> the vapor pressure of water is the condition at which a liquid atmospheric pressure become equal to the liquid vapor pressure. When a liquid is heated in a container its temperature rises and due to increase in temperature liquid internal pressure also increases as stated in Gay-Lussac law. When the liquid continues to heat till a point occurs when liquid pressure increases to such level that its internal pressure become equal to the atmospheric pressure at these states <coughs> liquid. Molecule starts to vaporize as due to equilibrium and atmospheric pressure and the liquid internal pressure and boiling of the liquid started. During the boiling the bubbles are being formed at the surface of the liquid. At atmospheric pressure and at 100 degrees Celsius the water starts boiling. At any running pump a vacuum is developed at suction this vacuum pressure must be greater than the liquid's vapor pressure. The pump suction pressure if decreases below the atmospheric pressure then boiling of the liquid started. Pump cavitation is the phenomenon that in a moving liquid the local pressure becomes lower than the vapor pressure of the liquid. The implosion generates a shock wave that can be heard as a sound which can cause serious damage to the impeller and pump. The net positive suction head available to a centrifugal pump combines the effect of atmospheric pressure, water temperature, supply elevation and the dynamics of the suction piping. The following equation illustrates this relationship. All values are in meters of water, and the sum of these components represents the total pressure available at the pump suction. NPSH 
HCSH equals HA plus minus HCHF plus HV minus HVP. HA equals atmospheric in case of open reservoir or absolute pressure. Gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure in case of close pressurized reservoir. HC equals vertical distance from the surface of the water to the pump center line, positive if above pump, and negative if below pump. HF equals friction formed in the suction piping due to fitting and pipe length. This will be discussed in later classes. Moreover value is usually neglected being negligible compared to H and HC. HV equals velocity head at the pump suction equals V square upon 2 grams. This value is usually neglected being negligible compared to H and HC. HVP equals vapor pressure of the water at its ambient temperature equals 0.42 meters at 30 Celsius. So NPSH equals H plus minus HC minus HVP. The net positive suction head required measured by the pump manufacturer would be the suction pressure required to prevent cavitation. It recommends an NPSH greater than NPSHR. In other words, NPSH and NPSHR equals positive. If calculated NPSH, NPSHR equals negative then at suction of the pump the available pressure will be less than the liquid vapor pressure that means boiling occurs and leads to cavitation. Such that NPSH greater than NPSHR margin of 1.1 to 2.5 and sometimes more.